Today we're talking about the one thing every guitar player should work on to get better. And unfortunately, nobody talks about it. <laughs> Today is your lucky day because we're talking just about that. And watch this video till the end because I have an invitation for you to join my free melodic workshop. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey, this is David. Welcome to the channel, which is all about helping you express yourself on the guitar a little bit better. What we're talking about today is something that I realized in the late 90s. Back then, I was living in South France. That's where I grew up. That's where I'm from. I was doing a lot of band work. I was working with a lot of uh, uh, different bands in, in, in South France and in, in all Europe, actually. There's a lot of, uh, we call them uh, ball music. They call them balls, it's like dances. Bands would come, typically in summer, and they would play popular songs and the whole village would come and dance and drink and, and you know party in the middle of the village. Well, I was doing a lot of that kind of work. I was in those bands where basically we had to learn the top 40s or whatever and play all night long. And there were a lot of songs to learn at that time. And uh, I, kind of had an idea of the songs, I knew them, but I couldn't learn everything lick per lick. It was just too much, plus the set would change often, so I had to rely on improvisation. Keep in mind, this was in the late 90s, and at the time, I had maybe a decade of guitar under my belt, and there's a lot of stuff I didn't really know. I didn't have the experience that I have today. So I had to rely a lot on pentatonic. I still do, nothing wrong with that. However, some of these songs required a little uh, I'm not gonna say more, but something different, and not necessarily just blues licks. You know, if you have to play uh, a four or five hour set and you play the same licks over and over, well, not only is, well, I, I was gonna say, the audience is gonna notice and get bored. No, they were all drunk. It was in South of France. <laughs> I'm French, so it's okay to make that joke. Even for myself, it just wasn't really fulfilling as a player, so I had to do something. Plus, every once in a while, there was that weird chord that came and and the licks didn't work. I started thinking about, uh, um, outside of the music world, conversations I would have with people. Typically, well actually, yeah, uh, all the time, in a conversation, I, I'm not scripted, unless I'm on the phone, because I hate the phone. But when I have a conversation with a friend or someone, I'm not scripting things, I just have the ideas and translate them. My mouth, to say the words, doesn't really have to rehearse saying those words, because I know what produces the sounds of each word. Okay, we've talked about that on the channel, but that was really a revelation for me. And that's really, I think, the essence of developing uh, um, musicianship. Being able to translate those thoughts in your head effortlessly on the guitar, as if the guitar is an extension of your body. The guitar is just the tool that you use to communicate things. If you can master the tool, if you are able to translate things in your head directly on the instrument, well, you've won the game. You can basically play anything you want. Your only practice at that point is just to listen to music so that you're familiar with the different styles and, and the songs and all that, but that's it. Your guitar practice should really be spent towards that goal. And that's what I started doing back in the late 90s and that really helped me. It put me on a path of non-competition because I didn't have to compete with other guitar players mentally. I just had to express myself and that's it. Okay, that's what we're doing today. And that's what nobody talks about, unfortunately. And we're gonna be very, very practical. By the way, today I'm using this donor guitar. Donor guitars make really affordable instruments. This is, was from Amazon. It looks great, it sounds great. They're great practice guitars, they're great uh, beginner guitars uh, for people who want to get into the, the electric guitar world without necessarily having to, you know, spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a good instrument because these are good instruments. And uh, I use it for practice. They're great. So thank you, Donor, for sponsoring this. The link is below if you want to check out this particular model. I think this one is pretty awesome. So I'm going to use this during this video. But before we get into the meat of the exercise, we're going to start with uh, a canvas, a zone of the fretboard. And we're going to be working in A, A minor pentatonic, where you use the first position. This one right here, we're all familiar with that. Typically, we have licks that are under our belts that are kind of automatic. But it's not really from the heart. This is kind of automatic playing. Trusting that the notes will work. We're breaking that today. Okay, so we have our canvas. That canvas is going to be our safe zone. We're going to use this in case of the event that you kind of get lost. Go back to that minor pentatonic scale 
doesn't matter really where you play, those notes are safe. We'll use a backing track later in this video, but we're gonna start without a backing track. We're just gonna play the notes of that minor pentatonic scale so that I can show you the concept and then I'll train you uh, to go a little further. Yeah, hopefully you have your guitar. This is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna start playing four notes and I'm gonna start on the high E string and I'm just gonna descend that minor pentatonic scale. As I do this, pay attention to where your fingers are, are fretting the string, the frets, and the sound. Okay, let's try this. So here's what we were playing. Just four notes. These four notes are within that canvas, that home bass, right? Four notes. Finger-wise, I'm using my pinky, index, pinky, index. You might be using a different finger, it doesn't really matter, but be aware of what you're doing here. Which finger is fretting? which fret and which string. So really I'm playing first string, frets eight, five, second string, eight, five. Okay, that's our starting idea. Now forget that you have a guitar in your hand. If you don't have a guitar in your hand, go grab it, pause the video, go grab it. If I sing something like, da da ba bum, you know how to play that. It's just what we played, right? Now visualize what's going on. Da, da, ba, ba. Two notes on the first string, frets eight, five, and then second string, eight, five. Okay, close your eyes. Can you play this? Well, if you need to look at the first note, that's okay. But can you play this? Well, yeah, we just played it. Okay, well, what about this? Don't look at my guitar. Just reversed it, right? Four notes. Da, ba, ba, ba. Now, play this. Da. It's the first note of our, our lick, right? First string, eighth fret. What about this? Ba. First string, fifth fret. What about this? Play this. Da, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. So we're using the same notes, just changing the order a little bit. Da, 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 da. That's what we had. Well, let's bring a backing track. This one right here, which you can download for free. The link is below if you'd like. Do that after the video. So we got this backing track. I'm gonna sing something and I want you to play it. Here we go. Da, ba, ba, ba. Great, you know that one. We just played it, right? Okay, what about this? Very simple rhythm. Ba, 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 ba. Okay, you should be able to do that. That's what it is. Da, ba, 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 ba. You can imagine a picture going on. Da, ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, four, five. Five notes, some are repeated. Okay, Ooh, that's what we're doing. Let's play that one together. Three, four. Okay, what about this one? Da, 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 da. You got it? Let's play that one together. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we just used those four notes that we locked into our memory and we associated with these notes, frets and strings. Right, that's it. So what we did there, is translate the thoughts in our heads, I was singing that, what should be in your head, and playing it on the instrument. It is very, very basic because you just use the minor pentatonic here, but that's always a good thing because the minor pentatonic scale is kind of ingrained in our fingers, and that's where I was at in the late 90s, really pentatonic driven, but I didn't really have any control over it. So that's what I started doing, just with what I knew, the pentatonic scale, and followed those notes by first singing those notes. So that now, instead of just being music is coming out of the, those fingers and those licks that you've played, now I'm regaining uh, control over the music. It starts here. Then it goes through, you know, whatever happens up here and, and through your fingers on your guitar. Let's try something a little more challenging. Not too much, but same basis. Minor pentatonic scale is our home bass. Essentially, we're just adding one note between the fifth and the eighth fret, and we're adding that seventh fret right here, okay? So what is that note? We don't really care what that note is. 
It doesn't matter. I just want to use it. Why? Because when I was listening to the backing track, I heard ma na da ba ba. When I was singing in my mind, I heard that note and I fished around and found it right here. So we're using these three notes, five, seven, eight, okay? I'm gonna sing something and I want you to replicate that just using these three notes. Now, you're gonna have to memorize, remember what I'm saying and then play it, okay? Just these three notes on that single string. Try something like this. Ma -ba -ba. Go for it. So that was on the first string, frets five, eight, seven. Let's try something like this. La da 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 ba. Da 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 da. That's five, seven, eight, seven, five. Okay. Very simple, not super interesting, but that's okay. We are doing that work. How about this? Ma ba 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 ba. Kind of imagine the movement. Starting here, ma da higher, right in between, back to the first note, right in between, da da ba ba da. Yeah. Five, eight, seven, five, seven. Okay, let's do one more. La da da ba ba ba. Da 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 ba ba. Should be playing something like. Eight, seven, five, seven, five, eight. That's really the ultimate goal, I think, as a player. If you can express what's in your mind through the guitar without worrying about the guitar, you won the game. And it really defeats all kind of like unhealthy music competition that exists out there, which I'll, I'll make a video on that. Click right here to watch a free workshop that is gonna help you translate those thoughts on the instrument without worrying about memorizing scales, licks, and, and all that stuff. It's free. And if you want to stick around for another video, well, there's one right here that I recommend. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time.